Oh, hi. Okay, so today, still gonna play a little wingspan, popping some of my peas. Um, we're going to be doing loving kindness meditation, but we're gonna do it with a little twist uh, instead of the normal um, meta, you know, sayings. We're going to be doing it based on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Um, I studied psychology and I always really like thinking about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Sometimes just to forgive myself for, you know, if I'm not able to achieve some of those higher ones, I can, you know, very easily sort of base that on or explain it to myself that some of my baser needs aren't necessarily being met. So let's get started. Make sure you find yourself a comfortable place. Make sure that you, you know, if you need, grab yourself a warm beverage. I've got myself some sleepy time tea. <laughs> some sleepy time tea. And we will get started in just a minute. Before we get to the guided loving kindness meditation, let's just start um, focusing on your breath. You don't need to necessarily change it, but think about um, making sure you're taking your full breath. It can sort of help loosen your mind and get your mind off some of the harsher things. If you just focus on your breath, take a nice deep breath in or shallow. You know, if you need to take a normal size breath, that is fine. Take a breath in. Inhale. And breathe out. If you can, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. That can really be helpful. And one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Okay. Okay, now let's get started with our loving-kindness meditation. The focus of this is we want to make sure, um, sort of put this loving-kindness into our hearts, into our thoughts, um, whatever makes you feel better, into our lives. So we'll start, um, we're going to start with focusing on yourself. So when I say you, I'm going to start by saying, may you, like, may you be happy, um, talking about you. So you can say to yourself, may I be happy? Um, and we can, we can start there. So let's go. May I be healthy? May I be safe? May I feel love. May I love myself. And may I live with meaning. Let's do it again. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I feel love. May I love myself. May I live with meaning. Now, maybe, you know, if you're not used to this or if you're having a particularly hard day, these might just feel like words. Um, and that's okay. Getting into the practice can really help you just start. So, yeah. So let's just start. Or continue. <laughs> One more time on yourself. May I be healthy? May I be safe? May I feel love? May I love myself? And may I live with meaning? Excellent. 
So the next thing that we generally do is then we project that to someone else. Obviously, we want to love ourselves, but next we're going to focus. I want you to think about a good friend. It could be someone you talk to every day. It could be someone you haven't talked to in a while and maybe wish you had um, had, had the chance to catch up. So think about who that person is. Focus on them. Remember the type of things they'd say. Remember the type of things you'd say to them or you'd talk about, you might do with them. Just keep it a, a good friend, someone you like, someone that's easy to like. And we're going to give the same loving kindness unto them. So let's do it again. But this time I want you to think, may you. And when you say you, you're going to think about that person. So, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you feel safe. May you feel loved. May you love yourself. And may you live with meaning. I did throw in a little extra, may you be happy. Uh, that's usually in the normal loving kindness. Um, but sure, we want them to be happy as well. Even if that's part of the, the whole part of this hierarchy of needs, right? Okay, let's do it again. Again, focusing on that person. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you feel love. May you love yourself. And may you live with meaning. Great. Now keeping in mind that you projecting this onto this person, even if you, you know, there's different things that people might feel. You might think, you know, this could be like a prayer to you, being able to reach them. But it, even if you don't feel like that, having these feelings, projecting these loving kindness will help you and it will help you feel that inside, make you feel better. And when you feel better, you project that onto the world. So you'll be able to uh, spread that even just in your small actions, in your small smile. Um, if you have a resting angry face, less likely to have that when you have this sort of loving kindness towards yourself and when you think about it towards other people. Uh, okay, so one more time to that person uh, that you enjoy, um, the person who is easy to like, the person who is a good friend. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you feel loved. May you love yourself. And may you live with meaning. Great. So after this, I want us to move on to a neutral person. This is someone in your life that is not necessarily a good friend. Someone you know, someone you've met. Maybe you don't have particularly strong feelings either way. Maybe they just sort of sit in the middle of your pack. They're an as associate, a coworker, a little more than a stranger, but not someone you care about, not someone you don't like, just a neutral person. See if you can find that person in your mind. And when you focus on that person, we're going to say you again. We're going to use you pronouns, talking to secondary person, as if we're talking to this person, but obviously to ourselves. Okay, do deep breath in. And out. And let's begin thinking about this neutral person. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you feel love. May you love yourself. 
and may you live with meaning. Now that a uh, happy at the beginning, very hard to uh, shake apparently. I actually was reading healthy and I said happy, but again, let's, um, we can absolutely wish happiness on these people. That's part of exactly what we're talking about. Okay, let's do one more time for this neutral person in your life. And then, you know, repeat after me as usual. May you be healthy. May you feel safe. May you feel loved. May you love yourself. May you live with meaning. Great. Once more for this person. May you feel healthy or be healthy. May you be safe. May you feel love. May you love yourself. May you live with meaning. Great. It's very good to project that even on someone who's just completely neutral in your life. Because we're hoping, you know, we're kind of hoping that everyone can have that, but sometimes it's a little easier just to think this person, this random person. Yeah, I do want them to have those things. I want them to get to that self-actualization. I want their basic needs to be met so they can achieve and feel those higher needs. What's not quite as easy is the next part. I want you to think of someone, a difficult person and what we're going to do is we're going to wish all of this upon that person as well. So think of someone, maybe someone you find a little irritating. Um, maybe it's someone who you still need to forgive a little, who may have helped, harmed you in the past. Maybe it's just someone you find unpleasant. Maybe it's someone you don't really know, but maybe they're, you know, a celebrity of some sort that you don't really necessarily don't have any personal gripe against, perhaps. Um, and I know that this can be really difficult uh, when when I do this. Sometimes it is very difficult for me to to get to that point. But that's part of this is. You're not doing it for them, you're doing it for yourself, you're doing it for your own peace. So, if you can find a difficult person in your life, and if you just need to say the words this time and come back another time to, you know, make it feel right and make it actually stick, that's okay. But we're going to focus on that person, and we're still going to use, we're going to say they, I'm sorry, we're going to say you to them. So. This person may be difficult. Still, may you be healthy. May you be safe. May you feel love. May you love yourself. And may you live with meaning. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to do this again. I know sometimes can be difficult. Again, this is going to help bring more peace into the world and at least inside your head, inside your heart, for yourself. Bring yourself a little peace. Think of this person and begin. May you be healthy. May you feel safe. May you feel love. May you love yourself. May you live with meaning. Excellent. One more time on this person. Wishing them the best, even if 
Perhaps they wouldn't do the same to you. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you feel love. May you love yourself. And may you live with meaning. Okay, now we're going to move on to the last uh, person that we're going to be focusing on. This one is actually not one person, it's uh, all people. Some people like to think of it as all sentient beings. I generally say it as everyone everywhere, so we can do that one. So we'll do the same thing, but we're going to address it as to everyone everywhere. Okay? Great. May everyone everywhere be healthy. May everyone everywhere be safe. May everyone everywhere feel love. May everyone everywhere live with meaning. And, oh, and may everyone everywhere love themselves. We'll do that again, this time in the correct order. May everyone everywhere be healthy. May everyone everywhere be safe. May everyone everywhere feel love. May everyone everywhere love themselves. May everyone everywhere live with meaning. Excellent. Okay, keep your breathing gentle. We're going to do it one more time for everyone, everywhere. May everyone everywhere be healthy. May everyone everywhere be safe. May everyone everywhere feel love. May everyone, everywhere, love themselves. And may everyone, everywhere, live with meaning. Well, that is everyone, everywhere, that I wanted to hit um, to address our loving kindness meditation to since we still have one more round of wingspan left. I'm gonna focus a little bit on the lovely bird sounds. I just really like the soundscape. I find this to be a very relaxing game. Um, meditative in itself without the guided meditation. But since we're here, why don't we do one more round for ourselves? I think that's fine. We can definitely take care of ourselves. Always put on your own oxygen mask before helping others. So let's do it again. Once more for ourselves. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I feel love. May I love myself. May I live with meaning. Okay, let's do this again. May I be happy. May I be healthy. 
May I feel safe. May I feel love. May I love myself. And may I live with meaning. Okay. One more time for good measure. May I? I'm gonna. I'm gonna include the happy. I just. I can't drop it. Uh, that's the first one I think of. So, sorry. Let's start one more time. May I be happy? May I be safe? May I be healthy? May I feel love? May I love myself? May I live with meaning? Great. I'm sorry if me switching up the order was a little jarring. I just, I'm really getting into it and yeah, it just feels right to me. So I'm sorry if that did have a little bit of a uh, hesitation there, but I really enjoyed spending this practice listening to the lovely bird sounds and bringing all of our loving kindness to ourselves and to others, both in our lives and everyone everywhere. Now, I hope that this was helpful. Um, you know, this video, you can replay it. I'm going to come back and do some more similar things like this. Um, and yeah, eventually this will also go up on YouTube. So you can watch it there. We play it as much as you want. You have this loving kindness meditation at your disposal. So please be kind to yourself uh, and have a good evening. <laughs>